Hello, and welcome to MailStore Tech Tips. My name is Dee, and today I'd like to show you how you can integrate Let's Encrypt certificates in MailStore Server. In order to give users a safe and trusted means of accessing their archives, preventing warning messages, and manning the middle attacks, the self-signed MailStore Server certificates in the default settings should be replaced with certificates issued by a trusted certificate authority. This can be a certificate acquired commercially, a paid certificate, or a free certificate issued by the nonprofit certificate authority Let's Encrypt. By doing this, you won't be bothered by the certificate not trusted warnings that appear when an incoming connection is identified as insecure. You can use the MailStore server's service configuration to request a free and trusted certificate from the nonprofit certificate authority Let's Encrypt. After 60 days, MailStore Server will then automatically renew and install the certificate via a dedicated interface. In the base configuration under Network Settings, go to Certificate and choose Request from Let's Encrypt from the drop down menu. This launches the Let's Encrypt Assistant. You now need to adjust certain network settings in order to obtain a certificate from Let's Encrypt. The requirements are as follows. A public DNS record for the MailStore server server must exist and point to the computer's public IP address. The MailStore server computer must be accessible to Let's Encrypt's automatic validation process from the internet on TCP port 80. In our online help, you will find various scenarios with detailed information on how to make MailStore server accessible via a public IP address. Once this has been configured, all you need to do is enter an email address along with the full name of the MailStore server computer, which is verified and will also appear on the certificate. Now, click on Finish to start the process. MailStore will now test the settings against Let's Encrypt's staging environment. MailStore will issue a warning if an error occurs. In this case, please check the data output in the log, resolve the problem, and try again. Once you've obtained the certificate from Let's Encrypt, you'll be able to access MailStore Server on a supported client, for example, the Outlook add-in or a web browser, and avoid the dreaded certificate warnings discussed above. If you have any questions on the above topic, feel free to contact our technical support team at support at mailstore.com. This brings our tech tip to an end. Thank you for watching. We hope to see you again soon.